All right, let's tackle one of the biggest questions of our future, living forever, but digitally. Welcome to Next Gen Choices. This is where the decisions we make today quietly shape who wins tomorrow. The poet Leopardi, well, he saw the natural world as just a place of endless suffering and decay. So what if you could just escape all that and live forever? That's the core idea behind mind uploading. The concept is pretty simple, you know? Transferring your entire mind from your brain into a computer. And wow, the promise is tempting. Imagine an e-granny who could share her wisdom forever. But of course, there's a huge problem. Let's compare the real biological you to a digital copy. So even if it's a perfect copy, is that digital person really you? And that's the heart of the identity problem. A copy lives on, but your consciousness, it's gone. You die. Now, major religions see this very differently. For them, there's this deep connection between body and soul. Transhumanists, on the other hand, have a totally different take. The brain is just a computer made of meat. So for a dualist, sure, you can upload memories, but your actual soul, that gets left behind. And look, this isn't just some thought experiment anymore. The rules are being written right now. Take the ELV Act. It's a real law trying to figure out who actually owns a digital you. And that's just the start. This brings up some massive new challenges we really need to think about. Yeah, like in the show Upload, a corporate heaven could very easily become a digital hell. So the choice really comes down to you. If you could do it today, would you upload? To explore more choices like this, subscribe to Next Gen Choices. The future rewards those who choose early.